guys to another episode of Eye of Terror. As you know, I'm your channel host, Adam, and today I have with me... Sean! And we are back with another Shadows of the Underhive scenario, mission! Woo! Whatever. Killing field today, you think? Yeah? Maybe? You'll find out. Yeah, I'm yeah. wearing a gray shirt yeah. for a reason. At the end of the page, you'll understand how well it went if you just look at my pits. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, today's scenario, I believe, is called Last Stand. It's going to be a modified uh, slightly, just because there's going to be some characters introduced. Yeah, it's the Last Stand. Um, so, the narrative behind it. Uh, Oh. Yeah, <laughs> just put it behind us right now. That's fine. Uh, the narrative behind it is a distress signal has been scrambled from the patrons of the Snake Eyes Venator Company, uh, and they have thrown together a small group of people. Small is ideal. I think six models in total. We've already actually yeah. got the gangs lined up as to yeah. who's showing up. Uh, so he's a small gang or squad of Snake Eyes Company have scrambled and been uh, thrown together in haste to try to go help their patron who has a distress signal uh, that has been sent out to you guys. Yep. Upon arriving to the scene in the center of the uh, this district of the under of Killjoy's Landing, uh, you see a crashed airship uh, that is smoking in, in, in disarray. You could obviously see heavy weapon damage along the side. Clearly it's been shot down from the sky mm -hmm. uh, and crashed. Uh, and you know that the signal's coming from inside the airship, so your patron's in there alive and you gotta protect them. Somebody has shot him down. You can hear you know, a group of people coming from uh, areas around you to to the scene as well, and uh, you can hear you can hear like not just like a group of people like hysterics like people yelling and screaming, but like an organized like mm -hmm. company is coming like people that have some military training. You would understand how they're talking. This it, it is another group of people are coming to to retrieve. Hopefully, it's starting. It's starting already. <laughs> he says. Never uh, sweat. So there is another group of company, uh, another group I should say that is coming. So that group is actually going to be Gilder Watchmen. They have shot down the airship uh, to your patron. Okay, so Revnik, Majos Revnik is his name, and you'll see why in a second I say Majos, or Majos, how do you ever, however you pronounce it. Um, but, uh, so the Gilder Watchmen have been hired by a couple of inquisitorial henchmen to shoot down and obtain this gentleman. You guys don't obviously realize that yet. Well, yeah. Because you haven't seen them. But you will by the end of the game. Uh, so the scenario itself, now I need this book again. Yeah. The scenario itself, the key things, battlefield's already been set up. We're using a, uh, a, a Sector Mechanicus style board, so 4x4 board, not a Zone Mortalis. Uh, you guys got, uh, what is it, D3 plus 5? Yep. Random uh, members of your gang and you rolled yep. a one <laughs> roll the one so they get six total i rolled uh d3 uh, plus six and i rolled a two. three so i got plus two two guys um so i have a total of eight guys starting guys on the starting board. off or eight yeah. guys eight guys starting off because yeah, uh, yeah, 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 because it's plus six. Yeah, so I have eight guys, you guys have six starting off. All right, uh, out to a great start. <laughs> you guys get home turf advantage, which means when you bottle, you roll yeah. 2d6, take the better of the rolls, Okay. and you get plus one to your rally tests. So okay, if you good. break, you can sort of come back and in that much more, right? You get okay, bonus yeah. to it. Uh, tactics cards, you guys have two randomly drawn tactics cards. Yep. Uh, deployment, so basically where the... Uh, the airship, the crash airship is, is the center of the board, and we're using that as the deployment. So you have a six inch deployment from the back ha escape hatch. Mm -hmm. uh, that will be your deployment zone. Yep. The Gilder Watchmen, uh, they have to deploy within two inches of any board edge. Yes. And they don't all have to be together, they can be in no, can random be. all over the place. Uh -huh. uh, objectives, the defenders trying to hold air as long as they can, um, and then uh, the attackers trying to wipe them out. So you know uh, when you get to the airship that other reinforcements are coming. You just have to wait and, and yep. hold out until as long as they get there, as long as you can. As long as I can. Yes. As long uh, as I can. That's right. <laughs> Reinforcements for the uh, for the Gilder Watchmen. So uh, at the end of each phase, the attacker receives D6 reinforcements, which is huge, because they actually have uh, 
10 models from the Gilder Watchmen. It's a 10 group, model mm -hmm. group. So they have two sitting out, but there's also two special inquisitori is inquis inquisitorial henchmen that are coming in this scenario as well. But that won't be happening until round three. They will automatically come on round yeah. three. Uh, they will already be in the pool. Yeah, no, no, automatically, automatically. Automatically, round three inquisitorial henchmen will be coming. Uh, special rules outnumbered. So basically, every time you kill one of these Gilder Watchmen, it's like they respawn and just come on as as reinforcements. Oh, so oh even if you kill them, they'll be back again. They'll still have to spawn within two inches. Wait, of well, when you they deploy as reinforcements, so they have to be set up in the end phase on a on the board edge. Oh, okay. And so what happens is I roll on a three plus, I get to choose what board board edge they come in on. Oh, on okay. a one or two, you get to choose what board edge they come in on. Cool. Yeah. So, which is nice. Very nice. So you basically, on a, you want me to roll one or two, so you can be like, yeah, and he's going to go in that back corner, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. uh, so ending the battle, if either gang has no fighters left on the battlefield at the end of any round, the battle ends immediately. Okay, so you want to you want to try to go as far as, uh, as as far as you can, make as many rounds as possible. Uh, Let's hope for a one for reinforcements. All the time. <laughs> um, so victory, if the defender has any fighters on the battlefield who are not prone or seriously injured or broken by the start of round seven, then they are the winners. Otherwise, the attacker is victorious. Okay. Rewards. Yeah. This is what we'll, you'll be getting out of this. There's a couple of special rewards here. I'll go over Well, one special reward I'll go over eventually as well. Yeah. And, and another additional rule that I'm adding to this scenario as well. So rewards, basically, as you progress... Uh, the more rounds that you are into this scenario, the more stuff you get. So if you only survive one or two rounds, you get minus three reputation and zero credits. Okay, if you survive three or four rounds, you get plus one reputation, D3 times 10 credits. Uh, if you survive five or six rounds, you get two reputation, D6 times 10 credits. And if you survive seven rounds, you get 2D6 times 10 credits and plus three rep reputation. Uh, everybody's going to get experience points for participating. Excellent. Okay. On top of that, if they survive to round seven, they gain an additional D3 experience. Everybody? That, that survives to round seven. Oh. So if all you guys survive to round seven, no. they're going to get D3 plus one experience. <laughs> no. no. You, why, why are you saying no already, Sean? I'm expecting everyone to no. die. I don't think everybody's going to die. I don't think everybody's well, going to die. I'm expecting at least one person I think, to be I think, dead. I think you're going to have some rough goes. But there is an additional rule that is in your favor as well. Yes. So not only has the, uh, the well, Same Revnik uh, uh, sent out a distress signal to get you guys to come, yep. but... He also has a, a uh, certain helper that he has summoned as well. So he actually has a ambot that he summoned uh, that is tunneling its way all the way through the Underhive to get to this location to help uh, you guys out in this battle. He's on his way. So he's on his way. So starting round two, going onwards in the end, start of the end phase, you roll mm -hmm. a d6. On a six in round two, it will show up. And then you awesome. basically can put it anywhere on the board, not on the board edge like most res yeah. uh, reserves. Anywhere on the board, it basically it tunnels up from the nice. from the ground, um, and then it will that number will go down each round. So yes. like on round two will be six, round three will be a five plus. He shows up round, uh, you know, so forth. You okay, know what I mean? cool. So uh, then on top of that, if it if you have somebody alive at the end of the scenario, something good can happen as well. So we'll discuss that during the reward section of the post battle oh, stuff. So, so we'll see. Ambot in the house, and then we'll go from there. So let's show you guys the board. Oh, FYI, Ian will be here as well, so it's not yeah. just Sean today. Uh, we're just Don't starting worry. early because I have to go into work tonight, uh, and so I just wanted to make sure that we had enough time to film. So we're gonna start it up, yeah. and Ian's gonna show up as soon as he can and yeah. jump in with Reinforcements the, uh... will come. <laughs> <laughs> you, yeah, you hope. <laughs> the ambot should help you out, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So I'll talk more about Ian reinforcements. Oh, okay, yeah, well, <laughs> that's, that's true, that too. Yeah. So we'll show you the board, show you the gangs that we're using and everything Everything else and then we'll get right into the match from there. So here we are with the board for today. Uh, so the mat itself is from GameMat.eu, so thank you for that mat, as well as a bunch of our trains. So we got the Gothic Ruins there and the uh, Necropolis set uh, that we are using. Uh, and then you also have some of their scatter terrain in that as well. Uh, so this is the board, so got some big pieces of like ruined buildings and such like that from the Underhive. 
Uh, you guys are basically on the outskirts of Killjoy's Landing uh, from where the airship was moving around and shot down. Uh, in the center of the board, where you can see the smoke in that there, is the uh, airship. You can see the ground, the crater is basically where uh, it crashed, and the exit hatch is the center of the board, which is like the back here. Uh, and so we'll be measuring from the corner uh, here, uh, six inches from that corner, is deployment. Uh, you do have a crater, it will cover, like if you're in there and obscured, obviously, you will get cover from it and everything else, and there is some debris that you can sort of get around to, and maybe you can climb up into the buildings and everything. But that is the board that we are using for today. Uh, we will be showing you the gangs next. So here we are with the uh, the Gilder Watchmen in the back. What you see is what you get. So basically I'll be using the Orlock stats for these guys as gangers. Uh, so they all have hotshot las guns, uh, except for the guys that, uh, well they all have hotshot las guns, but then you have the, the uh, three guys currently in the gang have the uh, plasma guns instead, and then as backup they have uh, LAS pistols, you can see the guy there has it. Um, and then you have a guy with a bolt pistol and a, ch a power sword, and then you have over here uh, just another guy with a hotshot LAS gun, even though he doesn't actually have a hotshot LAS gun on him. In reserves automatically are the two others, so there's one uh, other plasma guy, so that's four total plasma guns in this gang uh, with LAS pistol and then one hotshot LAS gun. In the front here, we have two uh, inquisitorial henchmen. Uh, so the first one on the right is Agent uh, Solara. Uh, she is a death cult assassin. Uh, so she has movement seven, weapon skill three plus, ballistic skill four plus, strength four, toughness three, four wounds, two plus initiative, four attacks. So she is a melee beast and leadership, cool, will, and intelligence are all varied, so 7 plus, 4 plus, 6 plus, 7 plus. She has a whole bunch of rules, such as like uncanny reflexes, which I just pulled right from the 40k stuff, giving her a 5 plus unmodifiable save. Uh, she has parry, dodge, nerves of steel, uh, spring up, sprint, and flak armor. Oh, step aside, sorry. Uh, so like these guys are supposed to be really, really super, super tough. Okay, so they're supposed to be working for the Inquisition, they're extremely skilled, uh, and for whatever reason, they have hired the Gilder Watchmen uh, to take out your patron. Uh, Revnik is, is his name. Uh, so she does have two power swords, so they basically are strength plus one, minus two AP, one damage piece, melee, parry, and power. The other guy is Agent Cantor Rex. Uh, Cantor Rex. Rex is a Crusader, movement 5, 3 plus weapon skill, uh, 4 plus ballistics, but that's not going to come into play because he doesn't have a ballistic weapon. Um, strength 3, toughness 3, 4 wounds as well, uh, initiative 4 plus. So you might ask why I put their wounds up so high. They're supposed to be extremely durable uh, because they've been through quite a bit with their Inquisitor, which maybe the Inquisitor might be showing up at some point in this scenario as well. Who knows? Uh, I do have a model actually set aside for that, so I do know! <laughs> uh, it won't be this scenario. Um, <laughs> spoiler, spoiler alert. <laughs> yeah, it won't be this scenario, spoiler alert. Uh, so wounds 4+, plus, initiative 4+, plus, 3 attacks, leadership 5, cool 4, uh, willpower 6+, plus, intelligence 7+. Plus. So special rules, he does have a storm shield, uh, and it does give him a 3+, plus. Uh, in unmodifiable save. He has Combat Master, Counter Attack, Parry, Impetuous, Nerves of Steel, True Grit. And then he has his Power Sword and Storm Shield. Uh, his Storm Shield basically took the stats from the High Star Energy Shield uh, and made it into that so it has knockback and melee when he uses it in combat. So that is the Gilder Watchmen and Inquisitorial Henchmen that are hunting for your patron there, Sean. Not good, not good. I'm scared. I'll show you. <laughs> The pattern next. So here we are with Magus or Magus Revnik. He is a cult ad adept uh, for the Gene Stealer cult. Yes, I know the Gene Stealer cult can only have a Magus or a Alpha, and this cult might actually have both. I know it's a little bit of a, a story thing for me. Is basically why I did it. Uh, but he is in the uh, ship, uh, the crashed airship, and uh, is uh, being. 
uh, sending out the distress signal. He's also called his friend the Ambot over here. The Ambot, uh, like I said, will be coming on round two onwards on a random roll, uh, six plus round two, three plus or five plus round three, and so forth. Uh, and then basically, you guys can deploy anywhere on the board. Obviously, not within an inch of an enemy. Uh, and that's basically it, tunneling up somewhere. Uh, you know what? I, what I'll do though is I'll make it so it's a D6 scatter. And so okay. that way it's not like an exact, you know what I mean? So it can't end within an inch of, inch of the board. And if it lands on a train piece, it's just at the edge of the train piece. Okay. okay, so it'll be a random. I'll do that just for some fun, fun stuff. Um, yeah, so those guys that are also being introduced into the campaign now. Before we go any further, I did forget to mention that uh, we did place two ammo crates. Uh, where did you put your ammo crates, Sean? Oh, huh? Right here. Right down there. Yep. And uh, we put one for the uh, Gilder Watchmen up there. Uh, then we both rolled off and we both rolled... A, I rolled a one and Sean rolled a two. It was, it was garbage! Yeah! Uh, <laughs> uh, Sean, walk us through your deployment then, uh, next. My deployment. Actually, we didn't do my gang. But that's cool too. <laughs> Oh shoot! We didn't do well, your let's game! Let's do it now! Let's do it now, that's right. So, you got six models. We got six yeah. models from Sorry, the... Sorry! I jumped ahead! <laughs> uh, Alright, anyway, so, deployment yeah. for the gang. So, up here we have yep. Auk and Adam, yep. as you all know. Right there, yep. Uh, just, she's looking out this way, she's, she, I, she's six inches from the board, from the middle of the board, so I'm like, yep. hey, you know what? Let's put her up there. Absolutely. And plus she's a last gun, so yep. 18 inches, yep. easy. So, uh, 24 inches. 24 inches. You're hitting you're basically go, yeah. everywhere, right? So, so, and there we go, Cree. Yeah. As you all know and love him. Yes. He is. I actually, it's funny because on YouTube, I can't remember who it was, but somebody left a comment about how they're, you know, they were watching the scenario and that, and they were cheering on her Krieg, and then, well, then at other times watching, uh, somebody else was saying that they were watching, and, and every time Wilhelm was on fire, and that they were like l laughing and loving it, but at the same time they were like feeling so bad for yeah. for Wilhelm. Uh, so that's <laughs> it's funny how people are starting to be like, oh yeah, this carriage is like my, my yeah oh, exactly. Yeah. All right, and then right over here, yep. this guy right here, Friedrich von Ripper, free we got, drinks. We got free drinks down there. Yeah. Yep. Okay. He's hiding in the hole. He's ready to go. Absolutely. He's clenching his butt. <laughs> All the time. Shouldn't that be? Shouldn't that be freaking skinny jeans over here? No, you see, you see, he doesn't have to because the skinny jeans doesn't form. Oh, well, that's true. That's true. All right, and so beside him. him, we have yeah. Sturm of the Twins. Yep, the one that survived last round. Yep, without the, the eye injury. Without the eye injury. Yes. <laughs> what a guy. Yes. Right, and then back here we have Skull Smasher. Yep, just ready right in the back, just ready to shoot some people with crack grenades. Absolutely. And then. Over to the side, we have the ever faithful, the ever watchful, the ever floating. He does something, <laughs> <laughs> but it's funny because he's leveled up and everything. He's too. doing Fan well, yeah. He's doing really well. Uh, yeah, he's... he leveled up before he got a kill. Yeah, which is funny. Yeah, because he's, <laughs> he, I don't think he's missed a game. Maybe no, he one. Missed, he missed one. Okay, so one out of ten. That was, that was last game. But okay. he had a side mission. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. So it's like he missed one he out of one out of ten. 10. Yeah. Well, it's one out of eleven technically with a side yeah. mission, uh, and he's gained quite a bit of experience. He's so it's, it's really good. Uh, yeah. So that is the gang that you are using. Your six models. You have nobody else, but we will show you the rest of the gang for anybody that's just jumping on for the first time as well. So these three here are the other three that were eligible to be gang uh, evolved in this scenario, but they actually were not randomly determined. So we got over here, who is this again? Oh, uh, that is Shad, Shad Blackford, the hero, or one of the heroes from one. last game. Yeah, well, with his rocket. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's a rocket launcher. Uh, and then over here, Wilhelm. It's Wilhelm Ironsight, yeah. the second hero of last game, because they're the That's last right. two that stayed around yeah, the besides, longest. Yeah, besides my one, besides your one Gene guy, yeah. call guy, yeah. <laughs> uh, he also is a leader of the uh, Snake Eyes Venator Company. Then beside him... Beside him is Ever Faithful Larkin, the, the one that beats people to death with a Medicaid, <laughs> with a Medicaid kit. <laughs> and then the, in the back, these two and were Drang, in recovery. Uh, so on the left, that is Drang in recovery. He yep. sadly got an eye injury. Yep, and then and Sicarius. Then Sicarius. Every faithful Sakari is always getting wounded. Yes. Never getting any I think kills. he's missed like every other he's, match, basically. He's basically the same as Wilhelm. He's missed yeah. like, every other game. Yeah, every other gang or game. Uh, but he also is another champion as well. So those yeah. guys are out for this scenario. Okay, so for my deployment, I put uh, two guys back here. One guy with a hotshot last gun, one guy with a plasma gun. Uh, then over on this side, basically I got two on each side. I got uh, two guys here. Uh, they both have hotshot last guns. And then over on this side of the board, we got another uh, uh, plasma gun and then the other guy with the power sword and bolt pistol. And then lastly, but not least, on this side of the board, they're coming in from all flanks, working in coordinated teams. Uh, we got another plasma gun and hotshot las gun. So, that is that. Sean, 
Get a D6 for me. Oh, God. Oh, God. Here we go. Priority. Turn one. I got a three. You got a four. Hold on. You, this. you got it, sir. You got it. So we'll come back with round one next. Starting off the round, Sean, what are you doing down here? Um, Skull Smash is going to go first. Okay. He's going to turn and face this direction a little bit. This direction all the way down here? All the way down there. And he's okay. going to aim and shoot a frag grenade right at this guy here. That's that guy there. That Gilder Watchman with the bolt pistol and power sword. All right, so grab the small uh, blast template. Just Check. Put it, it over top. I think you're going to get both. You're going to... If you hit, which that yeah. guy's in the open, you'll, you'll hit both of them. So. Okay. All right, so we're just gonna roll here. Right. Uh, let's see if you hit. So he is in the open, so you get plus one. So you hit on three. Three. Yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, do you want to save the three? I think that's. Yeah, I'll give it to you. Okay. Yeah. So it hits. Anyway, at the beginning, yeah, ammo yeah. check. And then ammo check. Yeah. Uh, six plus, I think, on these guys. I'll check. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Four. I'm pretty sure it's a I six plus, but we'll double check. So with that shot, uh, skull smasher over here. Is out of ammo. Is out of ammo because it is a six up. But both these guys are hit and pinned. Let's see if you roll to wound them. Uh, so they do have um, um, mesh armor. Okay, uh, so that's a plus yeah, save. Yeah, it's a 5 plus save. So uh, don't you don't I have any AP on this because it's, it's not the track. missile. It's just the other this one. So game. let's see if you wound this guy first. All right, here we go. Uh, that is a wound because he's they're only toughness 3. So oh, And then roll wound versus this guy. There we go. They're yeah. both wounded. Okay, so five up save on that guy. He's Boy, fine. Save. Five up save on the plasma guy. Uh, not. So he is out. I need to see if this guy's broken. He is not broken. He's going to hold his ground. So These guys, uh, this guy here with, in the front is going to do a, the first movement over here for me. Uh, he's going to do a uh, double move because I don't think he can see anybody. Uh, so we'll just do a single move first off. So five inches to get behind those crates there. Bam, like so. And then uh, another, he's just going to come around the crates and end basically right here. Uh, just behind that debris field. So your next go, sir. We're skipping ahead. We forgot to roll an injury die for this guy. <laughs> I know somebody's going to say something, so roll an injury die for this yeah, guy. Let's see what happens to him. All right, so he's, he's seriously, seriously injured. injured. So he is over here, uh, face down on the ground. I know, I'm sorry. Jumping ahead, guys. I'm excited, and I... It's, it's a lot of fun, and yes. also it's just like, hey. Yeah, yeah. We were hoping that he'd be dead, but at least he can't shoot you still, so. Yeah, he's seriously yeah. injured. Not Krieg is up next. Sean, what are you going to do with him? Um, he's going to do a double move, and he's okay. going to head in a general this way direction. Okay. I might put him here, but if I have more, I might yeah. just tuck him right in there. Well, let's see where he goes. Yeah. And Krieg is sniffing out some blood, and uh, ends right in front of that truck with some cover. Hopefully, you do not get shot in return. This guy's gonna activate next, make his uh, five inch move, just come over here, behind that wall, just so we can still see you. And uh, you're, gonna be, you're gonna have full cover, but you're gonna be in short, so he's gonna have a minus one hit you on fives. Here we go, hitting on fives. Oh, he does hit him with a six! Not needing an ammo check, because I rolled three shots. So it's a hot shot las gun, so you have minus one to your AP, and it's strength four, so your toughness is? Toughness is, for Krieg is... Four. All right, so needing force. It is a wound, so you get a but minus one. Do you get um, you get your armor saved? Yeah, yeah. Just like really. really right, yeah. There's enough space there for one die. All right, so armor save first of all. Let's try it. Well, nerves of steel. So well, do you want nerves of steel or armor save? Do your armor save first. All right, armor save first. You got one die in your hand, so. Eh. Nope. No. So you take a wound, but thankfully you have two. Yep. Okay. Nerves and then of steel. Nerves of steel to see if you're pinned or not. Cool. All right, so he has a six. Yep. You are pinned face Damn. up, sir. Face up. Arcan item is up next for Sean. Sean, what are you doing with her? She's going to up aim and shoot window. right down to this guy. All Take right. For Creek. All right. Let's see if you hit. I got ammo die there. Die here. Thank yep. you. Uh, um, so you so hit on threes then. Plus, plus one for being in short range. So uh, uh, it's actually just uh, she's fours in general for normal. Yeah, aiming. Aiming, so three. plus threes, and then short and then range. And short two. range is two, is what, what I was getting at. Oh, okay, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I thought you what meant, I was like, base at, three. No, 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 uh, because you were right. in threes. Let's see what happens. So needing twos. Woo! We got this. You got nice. it! So he is pinned. He's pinned. And then, uh, let's see if you can wound him. Uh, so you need fours to wound. All right. Ciao. No, no wound, but he is pinned. He's pinned. Next guy here is going to just move up behind his buddy over here as well. Doing a double move. All right, Sean. 
All right, next going? move is going to be Friedrich. Okay. Friedrich's going to try and... He's going to give out some free drinks. Well, he, Maybe he if he survived. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, so, uh, so Friedrich's going to just probably move. Okay. Yeah, so first move. action is going to move. It's going to be about an inch to get out of that, uh, just due to difficult terrain with the rubble and crater and stuff. Uh, all right, so at the end of his movement phase, he is facing down this way. And there is a window, a couple of windows in that corner there that he can see through. And all the way on the other side, he can see the two guys back there. They're both going to be in heavy cover, but you can shoot, and they will be within short range. We know that because it's 18 inches, yeah. and they're definitely within 18 inches. Uh, so you're going to shoot at the front one, obviously? Yeah, obviously. Yeah? Okay. All right, let's uh, uh, just roll right there. Right there? Yeah, okay. that's fine. Let's see what happens. So you're going to have minus one. E fives. Yeah. You got this. Oh, yeah, you got this. Yeah, he's pinned. He's pinned. All right, roll the wounds. Let's see what happens. Rolling to wound. Rolling, Rolling to wound. Rolling to wound. Rolling to wound. Needing fours. Oh, oh, but that's okay. He's pinned. He's yeah, pinned down fine. there. <laughs> All, right. All right, so this guy's going to activate next. He's going to do a double move. So the first one's just going to come up right about here, and the second one he's just going to come up uh, to place himself at the corner of said terrain piece. Not putting himself in the open yet because he's waiting for his partners to show up. Sturm's going to be up next, Sean. Yep. What are you going to do, gonna do with Double him? move. Double move. We'll see where he ends. Double move all the way over here uh, to stay behind cover. And then uh, that is his go. This guy here with the bolt pistol is going to stand up for his first action. Bam. Tuck him back. And then he's going to go his five inches up. Uh, so he's basically going to go to behind this wall here. Hide me. Hide me. <laughs> Just in case somebody else wants to shoot at him, maybe from the corner there. Phantom's up next, Sean. What are you going to do with him? Uh, he's going to do a move action first and then see what happens next. Sounds good. We'll see what happens. You cannot see him because he is a master of hiding yes. and, or floating. But down there is Phantom. You can, there's his face. Uh, he's hiding below, uh, behind that tractor uh, or vehicle after a single move. But he does have this guy in range for some shots. Uh, yep. But he is also going to be obscured from you. Uh, and it's going to be a full obscuring uh, effect as well. Uh, right. So, but you're in short range anyways, I believe. Yeah. So, we'll see. So, Sean, what type of rounds are you going to use for your He's shoot action? He's going to use the uh, solid rounds. Okay, into his... this guy here. Into the front guy. Okay, uh, so he does have full cover, gives you minus two. Yep. So you need sixes, but you're in short range. Short range. So you get four range. inches, that's obviously four. That is definitely <laughs> four inches. Uh, <laughs> All right, so I'm going to roll right there. Yeah, absolutely. I need fives. Needing fives. Rapid fire, get it, get it, get it! Yeah, two, two shots! That's yeah, cool. all right, roll the wound twice. Roll the wound twice. Yeah, so, you two one. die then? Or uh, no? Well, I just roll it twice, it doesn't matter. So, fours, that's a wound. That's a wound. Yeah, second one. And then? That's also a wound. wound. I'll uh, see if I save them here. Okay. So, first one, he does not. And second one, he, he does. does. So, roll an injury die. Let's grab one. Ah! The one with the skull that I saw. Come on! Come on, baby, Come let's on. go! Ah, oh, he has been the flesh wounded, flesh wounded. Move him. This guy here, he's going to move up uh, to the next activation. And uh, he is going to just basically move here. Right like so. Uh, and then he's going to take a shot uh, with his low setting. Not the maximal. Low setting. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah. Do low setting. No, setting. No, I don't. <laughs> uh, low setting into Phantom there. All right, so this guy's shooting attack. Uh, he's in short range of 12 inches for the plasma gun on low setting, so he gets plus two to hit. Uh, you are in full cover, so he needs force. Uh, it is a hit, and it hits twice. Is that rapid fire? Yeah, it's rapid fire, dude. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. Are you going to play anything? I guess click. Click? I'll be click, yeah. Yeah, yeah, going to click him. Not so fine. he's All right, so that is that card gone, and uh, he is out of ammo. Needing threes to wounds. They both are wounds. You have a minus one to your save here, sir. Eight sixes. Yeah, come on. Do Let's this. Do the first one. Okay. Oh. You got this. Oh. oh, I saw the six for a second. Same. Second one. Oh, so nice. Yeah, yeah, second <laughs> one. Come on, Phantom. Get it, get it, get it. Oh. oh. Here's the injury rolls. Oh, my goodness. You're only seriously injured in a flesh wound. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> that is awesome. So you are pinned. Uh, well, face down. He's face down. And uh, hopefully, hopefully he doesn't die. <laughs> this guy over here, he's just going to crawl two inches. Bam. Up there, uh, just so that way he can go. Then I'm gonna move around to the next side of the board for the last activation of round number one. Over here, <laughs> this guy's gonna try to move around and maybe try to get Krieg, a sight on Krieg. 
This guy did a move action there to get Krieg, uh, line of sight on Krieg. Uh, you're actually obscured. Let me double check that. Alright, so he's gonna take a second action after moving there, uh, cause he can't see Krieg, uh, because he's in hiding. Uh, he's gonna shoot into Friedrich, so let's see if he's in, in short range there. Oh, oh no! no! He's not, so he's gonna be hitting on sixes. Sixes. Let's see if he hits. Needing a six. No, he misses. There's no stray shot because nobody is within an inch of that line. That would be there. All right, so the end phase, because there's nobody else to activate this round, we have, both of us have two yep. guys that are out. Uh, or one guy that are, is seriously Wait, injured, yeah. sorry. Uh, so let's see if this guy recovers. He gets a flesh wound, so he's down to toughness two over here. Uh, Phantom. Phantom over there. Let's, let's see what happens see what to Phantom. Happens. Come on, Phantom. Get, did you cut yourself? Uh, oh, you did. Apparently. Oh. Terrain. It's dangerous. No, actually, it looks like paint. Oh, paint. Look, yeah. Yeah, okay. Maybe it is paint. All right. Terrain is dangerous. <laughs> just, just roll here. All right, let's see. Yeah. Come on, flash wound. No. Oh, yeah, here, here. I got, oh, I got yeah, one in my hand. Yeah. I just rolled. Yeah. <laughs> see, oh, still seriously okay. injured. Right. Oh, no. We need somebody over there to protect him. Yeah. Ian, say hello. Hello. You're here. We mentioned earlier that you were going to be showing up. So uh, this is a good time for you to be here. So yeah, we're yeah. just starting back. Uh, nobody can bottle at this point in time. Uh, Sean, you can't, well, Sean and Ian, you guys can't bottle even though you have one guy that's seriously injured because you get plus one from having home turf advantage, uh, which negates that. And you start it with six models and you need to roll higher than a six. So you just can't with a plus one, minus one. Uh, so, with that said, round two, priority. Let's go for round two. Who gets it? I got a four. Ian with a big roll of oh. one. Oh, and it starts. It starts. Oh, no. <laughs> Story before we jump too far into round one, I get D6 reinforcements at the end of round one. I get three. So both these guys are coming on. So let's roll for the last gun. Uh, one or two. Uh, one or two. Uh, Sean uh, and Ian get to place them on a board edge. And three up, I get to place them where I want. So four, I get to place them. Plasma gun, same thing. I get to place them where I want. So these guys have been set up right there for their deployment. So in the activation, we'll start moving them. First activation uh, for the Gilder Watchman. Uh, this guy here is going to try to charge Zezoth. Uh, let's no. see if I can do it. Uh, I don't know if I can, but I'm going to try. And that is a total of six inches. So I don't think it's going to be enough, but I'll measure. So that guy ends right there, uh, just outside of range of Phantom. Uh, I needed to roll higher than a two. <laughs> Next activation for Sean and Ian. What are you guys doing? He's gonna Krieg's gonna stand up first of all. Yep. And then he's gonna run oh. somewhere. I'm gonna run away, never say goodbye. <laughs> and with his second action, you moved him over here, Sean. Yep. Why was that? Do you see his plasma gun here? Where? <laughs> oh, that <laughs> guy. Yeah, yeah, I do see him right there. Uh, all right, so you hide Krieg right there. Good choice. Thank you. Activate this guy next. He's gonna come over here. He's gonna take a pox shot down at uh, Sturm, who's in the open from him, in the open. All right, so this guy has Sturm in the open, so he needs fours to hit, uh, not in short range. So he misses, look at that. Uh, so that is his activation. Sturm is up next. What are you guys doing with him? He's gonna back up slightly and uh, try and flame the dude who just shot him. Flame that guy? All right. You're definitely gonna be in range. Yeah, I thought he can't see. So, he can see his gun. Yeah. You're definitely going to be in range. Uh, he is going to be, I think, partially covered, so he will get a plus one armor yeah, save. But I think you guys get a, give a minus one with the firestorm, right? He's so, dead. pretty sure. So we'll see. All right, Ian, roll an ammo check first off. Ammo die. See if you uh, need an ammo. No, you're good. Okay, so wounding. Uh, you need threes because he's only toughness three. That is a wound. Minus one AP. Mm -hmm. uh, so he has a five up. AP, so it comes a six up, uh, but then he's in partial cover, so it goes back down to five. Does not save, so make an injury roll. See what happens to him. Seriously injured, and roll a die. I think it's uh, one, two, three. He's oh, for not. Blaze. Yeah, for Blaze, four, five, six. He is Blaze. So, so he's also on fire as fire? well. So he's gonna be crawling <laughs> and on fire, and hopefully trying to put it out. Maybe who knows? Off. This guy here is gonna activate. He's gonna stand up. And he's going to take a shot at Skull Smasher over there, uh, who does have full cover from him. Sixes All right, so <laughs> this guy needs sixes to hit, and he misses. Uh, this guy will be within an inch of that, so let's see if I hit him on a one. Shoot him. No, it's Ooh. fine, so. 
There's a 60. Up next is Skull money. Smasher. What are you going to do with him? Skull Smasher is going to go try and get some grenades. Back there with that ammo crate. Mm -hmm. Yep. Sounds good. So we'll do a move action first, I'm assuming. Yes. And then a reload, hopefully, with a plus yes. two from the ammo stash or cache. Ending his movement there. Make an ammo check if you're going to try to reload. Uh, needing let's fours. Let's see what you get. Needing fours. You got this. No. Nope. All right. This guy here is going to stand up. And he's going to shoot at Aquanitum, who I believe will be in full cover. For the most part. He on flies with his hot shot last gun. Here we go. Hit. Needs an ammo check. See if he's out of ammo. Uh, he's not out of ammo. And then, let's see if I wound. It is not a wound with a two. Make an initiative test for Aquanitum, though. Initiative test. Let's see. Oh, you're fine with a four plus. You don't fall, but you are pinned face down. That's right there. Up next, Friedrichs, the free drinker. I mean, the, 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 I don't know, Von Ripper is his last name. The hell you saying with me? Yeah, yeah. No, no. <laughs> what, you, what you talking about? <laughs> I pull a pity that fool. Uh, you're going to do what with him? He's going to uh, aim and shoot right into the plasma gun there. Okay, so he has partial cover from you, uh, yeah. but you're in short range, you yeah. aim, so you get a plus one to your hit. So you're needing threes, sir. I got one right there. There you go. Needing threes. You got this. Come on. Do it. Oh, you hit him. Yeah. So he's pinned. Roll yeah. the wound. Oh. Needing fours. Oh! All your wounding rolls have been I for know. naught. But he is pinned now. And he's face down like so. Guy here that's pinned is going to stand up. And you know who shot him last turn was yeah, Friedrich, right? He's going to turn around and shoot back at him. You do have full cover. Uh, so I will get... A minus two to that, so we'll hit on sixes. Uh, you're definitely going to have a long, uh, short range. Ah, ammo check! Let's see. Four up. He still has his ammo. Cool. Hawk and item is up next. What are we going to do with her? She's going to stand and shoot. All right, so stand her up. Shoot away. I'm assuming you have this guy here? Yes. All right. All right. I got, uh, here's some dice there. You're definitely in short range, I think. It's 18 inches, right? Yeah. So... Go ahead and just roll here, dude. There's enough space. We've been doing that. So you do oh. hit with a six. Too bad you weren't like a marksman double damage, <laughs> right? All right, you roll a wound. You only need a force to wound. No. <laughs> he is pinned, though. Oh, you're keeping him down. That's key because that means you might survive. Maybe survive. This guy here is going to need to move, so he's going to do a double move uh, just to get into a better position. So he's going to go five inches to the end of that barrier and then another five inches just to... Uh, the other one here, just behind cover like so, with his hotshot last gun. Last activation for you guys for this round is Phantom. What are you going to do with him? He's going to crawl. I would suggest staying in cover if I was you. Yeah, well yes. he's going to try and stay in cover just Absolutely. Not aware. <laughs> yes, because you don't want to get shot no, no. by anybody. So we'll see where you move with your crawl of two, uh, three inches, sorry, three inches. inches. And so the Phantom just charges there like so. This guy here is going to stand up. And then he's just going to take a move action over th that direction, I think. Last two guys to activate, they're just going to do a double move. And basically, we'll end up over here as well, uh, just moving up the board. So, And around two, this is what the board looks like. Uh, you got one guy over there, one uh, Gilder Watchman, right outside of the seriously injured Phantom who's trying to hide. Uh, and then the guy with the plasma gun is there. A uh, yeah, flesh-wounded plasma gunner here. Guy that's on fire over here uh, and is also seriously <laughs> injured. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Creek hiding over there, and then two pinned guys over there, and then a group of guys coming from Actually, that sure. side. That guy is out of ammo. Oh yes, that guy is out of ammo because you clicked him. You clicked him. So you got two random cards. During the end phase, does somebody show up? Said Ambot, does he come into play? Somebody needs to roll a d6, <laughs> and on a roll of a six. He arrives. There. Oh. Ah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Sean. Get a six. Come on. Get I a six. Four, but whatever. Get a six. Oh. Next turn. <laughs> if you roll that next turn, he would be on board. But Damn not. Me. Okay. So seriously injured rolls. Uh, I'm gonna roll for the guy that is on fire, all the way down here. Uh, so let's see what happens to him. Uh, he is now flesh wounded oh and pinned. He's still on fire, so when I activate him, he's going to be, uh, well, taking a hit and then hopefully crawling and dying or something. Who knows? Phantom is the next one who's seriously injured. We need a recovery roll for him. 
Oh! oh! That's fun. Oh no. That's fun. Oh no. <laughs> okay, black is tense. Oh. 21. So he just misses the smash. That's it. That's not bad. Out cold. So he is just missing this match. Just means that he only gets one experience, not the possibility of, the, of like D3. So that's, that's good. All that's all he needs. Needs. all right. Going into uh, going into the next round. Nobody can bottle. So uh, priority. I rolled a two. You guys rolled a one. <laughs> oh, oh no. Uh, oh no. We'll uh, come back with my first action next. Let's start the round with this guy that's on fire. Uh, so he's gonna activate, so he rolls 2d6 plus the scatter die for his random direction of movement. Uh, so he is going into that wall. Into that wall. <laughs> uh, uh, 10 inches. Uh, he's gonna go prone, try to put the fire out on a 4 plus. It does not go out. He also takes a strength 3 hit, uh, which uh, does wound him on a 3 because he's only toughness 2 now because oh, of, of the flesh Yay. wound. It's minus 1 AP, so 6 up save. Does not save it, so we need to see what happens to him injury dice wise. Oh, still seriously injured. Oh, I saw the skull. I see the skull for a second. He ran his head into the wall and gave himself a gave, him, gave himself a mild concussion. Meanwhile, uh, oh, he's on fire still. <laughs> so concussion on fire. Seriously injured. Not, good not dead yet though. <laughs> Up next is free drinks. What are you gonna do? He's gonna shoot. Into the plasma gun. Down there. The guy actually is visible uh, while he's prone because the corner of the table and that isn't going to be obscuring him like it was when he was standing. Uh, so you're going to aim and shoot. Aim so you get shoot. plus two. So you hit on twos. And yeah, he's on twos. Hit it on twos. Somebody. Somebody. Okay. Just right here. And there's okay. enough space here. Yeah. Let's Why do not? it. Are you oh <laughs> my god. Oh, what is this? <laughs> do you get a free reroll for anything? No, oh. no. Uh, yeah. Ah. Uh, he he misses, unfortunately. He misses. He's gonna return the favor. He's gonna stand up, and he's gonna be like, "You want to shoot me? I'm gonna shoot you." Here, he's gonna shoot you back. Oh, oh, oh no! Uh, and you are behind full cover, so he misses as well. So ammo check. He is out of ammo. Out of ammo. So yeah, that's not good for him. Locking item is next. What are you going to do with her? She's going to shift over and take a shot down at Mr. Laz Pistol down that there. Behind. Gun. Yep. All right. So, roll away to hit. He does have an actual hot shot Laz gun like everybody else. Um, so, so, you only partial cover. Fours. But, yeah. You hit! Look at that. So, he's pinned. Can you wound? Can you wound? Come on! Yeah, that is a wound of a roll of a five. Can he save on a five plus? No, he can't. Roll an injury die, sir. Injury die. Seriously injured. He goes face down. Like so. That's all you need to do. Keep him pinned. Keep him seriously yeah. injured. This guy here is going to stand up. And he's going to take a shot into Sir Skinny Jeans. Skull Smasher. Skull Smasher. Uh, I believe that's 18 inches. I'm going to double check. Thank you, Ian. Yeah, he's definitely, definitely within. Yep. So hitting on threes because he's in the open. Does hit. Can he wound? I think I need fives. I think Skull he's, Smasher's like toughness, toughness five. Toughness, toughness five. Oh, it is a wound! Ah. Oh my goodness. Make your save. Uh, I think uh, he only has mesh. mesh. Five, up. five up. Okay. I'll roll for him. Yeah. Nope. No. That's, how many wounds does he have? One. Yeah. He's just a ganger. Oh he's no, dead. he's dead. He's, he's dead. Let's see what happens to him. Blacks are tens. 13. So he just misses this scenario as well. Okay. That's not bad. Not bad. Small things. Small things. Krieg's going to be up next down here hiding. What are you going to do with him? He's going to... Well, he's going to inject himself into drugs first. Yeah, stim slug. Stim slug stash. Yep. And then he's going to charge All right. into this guy here. Let's see how far you go. So your movement right now is 8. He's 8. Oh my Plus. goodness. And that's 9 inches. Let's nine see inches. if we can measure in for you. Krieg here. Uh... Did not have the distance to charge, unfortunately. Close, not close. with that. He's two inches there. So if he rolled a five or a six, he would have been out or in on that guy there and wrecking face like he does in the Greek oh, style no. and fashion. This guy here is going to do a double move to go up here and be within an inch of his seriously injured compatriot. Him over here is up next. What are you going to do with him? He's going to move out and take a shot at the Plasma Boy. Awesome. All right, let's see where he moves. Ending his movement right there, just so that if the flame does hit, it's going to be right in the open, so you're going to target him. 
Oh, no. no. Just short. short. Just short. Oh, no. That sucks. So make an ammo check, sir. See if you have ammo. Or need to make an ammo roll. No, you're good. All right, these guys here, I'm just going to, because you guys have nobody else to activate, correct? Mm -hmm. They're just going to be getting into position to start uh, enforcing some stuff. So these guys are going to do a double move up that way. Actually, he's going to go here. He's going to take a pock shot there, I think. Not a double move. You're going to have full cover, but let's see what happens, shall we? Uh, misses. Out of ammo. And out of ammo, so four up. He still has Whoa. ammo. Uh, plasma gun guy is going to do the exact same thing uh, and try to shoot him. So again, you're going to have full cover, so needing sixes, misses, and out of ammo. Uh, here's the ammo roll. He's out of ammo, that guy. So all the plasma on the board. So four out of four plasma guys are out of ammo. Out of ammo, yeah. I also need to roll for a straight shot because his buddy's within an inch of him. So uh, let's see if you hit him. Does not hit him, he's fine. This guy here is going to do a double move just coming in towards the uh, ship. And he's just going to basically be hiding uh, right behind here. Uh, tucking in there like so. And he also has no ammo in his gun. So he just has his last pistol. This guy here is also doing a double move up there as well. So he's just going to come around his eight and just tuck in at the corner with his flesh wounds like that. I have... Uh, at the start of the end phase, two guys have to come on. So the uh, two inquisition, inquisitorial henchmen, so Solera as well as Cantor Rex. So rolling for Solera first on a uh, one or two, you guys get to place them on any board edge. Four, so I do. And then for Cantor Rex, I also get to place them as well. Krieg all the way down there. All the way down there. Uh, he has taken his stim slugs. So... Now, we need to roll to see if they overload his system. So on a roll of one, he takes an injury die worth of stuff. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Roll an injury die, sir. Oh, you are seriously injured. Oh no. He's down. He runs down. out the corner and just collapses. <laughs> okay, you do get to make an injury check for him Yay. to see what happens. Still seriously injured, I try. Uh, I have the guy that is on fire down here that I'm going to make an injury check for, so let's see. Uh, he is out of action, so yeah, he's down. And then the guy over there, because he has somebody assisting him, gets to make roll two dice and take the best. So he is bloodied, or flesh wounded, sorry, not bloodied. Well, he's bloodied too, because he's been shot. Um, not good, not good. Thank you, Ian, for the flesh wound marker. I'm getting caught. Oh, my clothes are getting caught on the train. Um, well. So, you've at least made it to round four. That's good. Yeah, we got, we got to round four. Uh, who wants to roll a d6 to see if uh, said thing well, comes? Turn, so. uh, yeah, needing a five. Oh, it is hey. a six! You guys got an Ambot! Ambot coming in! Okay, so you guys place the Ambot where you want. Grab a d6 and a scatter die. You want them right there? Or do you want them like, you can't be within an inch. So, so here. Uh, right, 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 right there. Okay, let's see where it goes. Okay, so he's gonna go within an inch and pop up right there, outside. Come at me. So next turn, you guys will have that. So that's really good for you guys. We just need priority. Oh my goodness, you just need priority now. Um, so, at this point in time, bottle tests, I have how many guys? One guy that's out. Okay, they can't bottle. You guys, though. We can't bottle. You can. You have four. We have two guys out of action. Do you have and two? And we have three. We have three. Seriously, tables. okay. So you can bottle. You get plus one to this. So okay. you do not bottle. So that's good. Priority roll. Here we go. <laughs> okay. Are we doing a rock paper okay. scissors match again? They are. Oh. Okay. Here we go. I got a one. It automatically goes to you guys. Hey. Yay! You guys have it. You guys have it. Okay. So first activation for you guys. It's gonna be what? It's gonna be the Ambot. Mm. We're switching off safe mode. So he's just gonna go ballistic. And uh, yeah, that's good. So what are you doing with him? He's gonna charge, charge. into that Crusader. Gonna charge, all right. So roll a d6 for your charge distance. Yeah, Obviously you're that? automatically in. <laughs> yup, you're in. He's uh, so he's berserk, he goes in there. So cool thing about safe mode is basically he gets 
the ferocity skill, which is, we'll have to double check what he gets from that, but he also gets D3 plus ones as an attack profile instead of his two. So it's automatically he's going to have three skill or three attacks, but somebody, whoever is going to be charging with him, will have to roll a D3 to see his total attacks value. So his Berserker gives him an additional attack die. So he's at three attacks plus an extra D3 plus one from charging. So somebody roll a D3. Go ahead. All right. D3 attacks. So he gets hey. additional three attacks. So he's at seven attacks when he charges right now because he has Berserker going. So uh, he hits on threes. Uh, uh, now... Are going to do one with the, with the Melta as well? Uh, oh. Slow Melta, might as well. It's damage two. One for one out of the seven? One out of the six, sir? So, so seven tunneling claws strikes into this guy. Is that what you're doing? Yeah? Sounds good to me. Okay, so you have seven attacks. You're hitting on threes. Let's see how many threes you get. Let's go. You got this. Okay, so they all but one, two, one three, hit, four, five, six, six hits. Okay, so he has two parries. Okay, he has parry from his, uh, so we'll set this one aside, because if he gets to strike back at you, he gets plus one uh, attack dice from uh, counterattack. Uh, so he's going to force you to reroll two of those sixes. So four attacks are going to go through. So reroll those, because he has parry from his sword and parry from... Uh, the skill, so that's five hits. Okay, so he's only toughness three versus I think strength at this point in time is five, five or six. I think we'll double check. All right, so it's needing threes to wound now because he's strength five versus toughness three. You got this, got this, do it, do it. Each one's two damage. Yeah, he's gonna get those wounds. Shit. Okay, so that's two. Okay, so he does have, he does have. Two three up saves. So, because he has the storm shield just like crusaders do. So, I hope he fails one. He does fail one. So, he takes two wounds. Okay? Uh, he's down to two wounds remaining, unfortunately. So, two wounds remaining on that guy. This guy here gets a strike back. Uh, that is Cantor Rex. Uh, so, he has counter attack. So, he gets two bonus attacks from that plus his power sword. Uh, so, let's see what he. Needing three. So, that's a miss. Okay, so that one, uh, I think the power uh, activates and gives you uh, minus two to your armor save, or armor saves can't be saved versus that. Okay, so you definitely cannot make any armor saves, the Ambot, versus that power sword. Uh, so it's going to be the red die. Um, and if it wounds, it does two damage instead of one. Okay, so, but he needs five to wound. So again, the red is going to be the power sword. So there is one wound on... It's just a regular wound? It's just a regular wound. So you get your four up save on him. Four up save. Four up save. Somebody. Dice there. Somebody. Oh, I saw the six. So it takes one wound as well. I think the smartest things for these guys at this point in time is to uh, jump on Krieg here. So he's going to charge. He's going to roll his d6 in. And he's going to do his uh, coup de gras to see what happens to him. Uh, so he's taken out of action. Okay, so black will be tens. So 26. So you're just missing, you're missing this game as well, sir. You're missing that case, this game as well. Sturm's up next. What are you going to do with Sturm? He's going to run a line aside of these guys and try and burn this guy. Yeah, so like something like over here maybe or something? Mm. Maybe we'll see where he goes. So he's ending his movement right there. So he has full cover from any sh possible shots down here. Even though the one guy only has a LAS pistol. And the other guy has the hot shot LAS Making sure you yep. get in. You definitely hit him. And setting He's him on fire. Setting him on fire. Let's see that roll, sir. Let's see. Uh, you need uh, a... Ammo roll first. Yeah. Hey, You're fine. All right. So you need three to wound because he has toughness. Actually, hold on. It's strength five, isn't it? He's yes. toughness two because he has a flesh wound already. So you nice. need twos to wound. You wound him. And minus one to his save. I'll just use that die here. Does not save. Roll an injury die for me. Take him out! Take him out! Take him out! Ah! It's another flesh wound, so he has two flesh wounds on him. Uh, uh, Blaze? Yeah, let's see if Blaze goes off. He is on fire as well. Yay! I'm gonna activate this guy, because I don't really see much use to do anybody else at this point in time. Yeah, I'm gonna activate this guy next. I know for the first few scenarios, uh, we were missing Blaze, but now that we're actually using it, I love watching people get set on fire. Is that wrong of me <laughs> to watch things get set on fire? Is that bad? Like, I, I, he's going to stand up because he's flesh wounded. And he's going to, oh, oh, he's going to, he's going to run. And he's going to run eight inches this way. So he's going to come over here. Uh, and then 
He's going to drop down and try to put the flame out, which he does not. He's still on fire. And then take a strength three hit, which needs two to wounds. And does not save it because he gets minus one. So who wants to roll an injury die? Somebody roll an injury die. Let's see what happens to him. Seriously injured face down. So hey, um, he's gonna be dead no matter what. Next, next time. <laughs> All right, Friedrich's up next. What are you gonna do with him, guys? He's going to move right here. Yeah. He's going to shoot right over there. there. I'm pretty sure that is 18 inches. We'll just double check to be on the safe side, but I'm pretty sure it is. Definitely with it in 18 inches. Uh, so you need threes to hit that guy in the open with the hot shot las gun. Yeah, just roll here. It's fine. You hit. Okay. He is pinned. Can you wound him? Needing force. Yes, yeah. you can. Let's see if I can get. He does oh, save it though. Save. Oh no! So he's face up, like so. He's still pinned. He is still pinned. That is key and crucial. This guy here is going to aim and shoot into Auken item over there. Uh, she does have full cover, hence why I need to aim. And I'm in short range, so he hits on fours, misses, and but does not need an ammo check. Auken item over here. What are you doing with her? She's going to aim and shoot down at this guy in full cover here. Okay, sounds good. Roll away. It just misses. She is weapons or ballistics to the floor, right? I believe she's BS4. She's BS4. Mm -hmm. That's bullshit. <laughs> this guy over here is going to stand up and take a pot shot at Friedrich. It's Friedrich, no. Uh, who is in full cover. So. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay, so I'll just roll that because. Okay, so he misses because he needs six. The guy right beside him is going to do the exact same thing. Uh, misses. And where's the ammo die? Uh, is not out of ammo. <laughs> this guy here is going to stand up and also shoot at Friedrich. Let's see. He's also behind full cover, uh, but I am short range, so he gets plus one. So that would be a hit. And then, uh, can I wound? I do wound. So you get a minus one to your save, but it's in the front arc. Oh, so you have shoot. fours instead of threes. Fours to save. Come on! Do it! Yeah! You're pinned though. That's fine. <laughs> this guy here is going to do a double move just to move up. Assassin's going to go next into uh, big guy over here. Going to charge in. Uh, we'll definitely get in, but there's a D6 roll. Well, D3 technically. So, going to come over here. Seven movement, yes. Seven movement. Okay, so she has six attacks based. Well, not based. Four attacks based. Uh, one from charging, one from paired weapons with power sword. Uh, needing threes to hit so no that sixes. is so actually okay. no sixes which means you get your armor save uh, and then three misses because it's three up so now she needs to wound on fives uh, she gets no wounds Ooh. either which is wow. really good yeah, okay. really good so now you get your reactionary attack with him so that's pretty so crazy d no you get d3 plus one because safe oh, mode's still that. off for the rest of this round d3 plus one plus you get your paired yep. so let's see how many you get so you get four, five attacks up against her. So that's really good. Five attacks. Five attacks. Let's see. Okay, so four hits. Okay. Uh, I think she has some skills that can affect that as well. So I'm going to double check. So I'm going to make you reroll the four and five there, the black dice, uh, just because of parry. So three attacks. And then she also has a uh, step aside. So she gets to, on one of the attacks, on a... Uh, a two plus, she ignores one of those. So she ignores that one. So you have two attacks that go through. Needing, uh, she's only toughness three, so you're strength five, so you need three to Oh, there's one. And then uh, she has um, a five up save. Minus one? Well, it's, it's, oh, yeah, the, it's, four, the, it's four up. With, yeah. No, 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 it's five up save, unmodifiable oh, due okay. to her, uh, what is yeah, it? Some skill, lightning like, reflex or uh, something like yeah, that. Yeah, so. She Ooh. makes it. She makes it. Yeah, so it is uh, uncanny reflexes gives a, gives her a uh, five up unmodifiable save just due to her unnatural reflexes and that as the death cult assassin. So that has kept her alive from that attack. This guy here is going to take a move action just to move up over here. Uh, and then going to attempt to shoot Friedrichs who's actually, you would be partially covered and I could not see you. So I'm going to have to continue moving. Because that would be obscuring you a little mm -hmm. bit. So uh, so he's just going to go two and a half inches into this. So basically just up like so. 
He's coming around with his last pistol because he's out of ammo. Maybe he'll get that ammo crate and, and do something with it. This guy, on the other hand, is going to turn around and shoot at Strum or the or Storm. Sturm. Sturm. Strum, Storm, Sturm. I was going to eventually get it. Um, and is going to try to uh, shoot him with a name. Needing four is to hit Sturm over here uh, because I am within short range as well as aiming. So hitting on fours, and that is a drop die. Here it is. Uh, hitting on a six, so uh, you are pins. Do I wound you? I do wound you on a four. Okay. So minus one to your save, sir. Minus one. Oh. Yeah, buddy! <laughs> we got it, but you are pinned, which is good, because that means nobody can shoot you now, because you're in cover. And around this guy is going to come in, uh, because I get D6 automatically. Mm -hmm. So one or two, you guys get to deploy them. Four, I get to set them up anywhere I want. And he's being set up over here on that board edge. This guy here needs a serious injury check. He's still seriously injured and on fire! Fire! Going into round five, gentlemen. Round five. Plus Remember, six. if you guys can survive to round seven, that will be we good. Need it. We need uh, it. two. You can do it. Yes. Three, you guys got it! Yes. <laughs> Starting off the round strong, hopefully. What are you going to start with? Uh, we're going to do the ambot. Okay. Uh, so, what are you going to do? Just He's fight? Attacking. Fight, Attacking fight, fight. Crusader, okay, right? how many attacks do you have? So, D3 plus D3 one. D3 plus one. Oh, four wow. or five attacks again. Now, I forgot to mention it last turn. Really didn't come into play because he didn't wound uh, her at all. But you do have interference, so you get minus one to your uh, hit rolls. Uh, so, five you're hitting, hitting on fours. Hitting on fours now. Oh, we, uh, actually, we had to... Um, because of the rule for the unsafe mode. Oh, you got to split, split, split them. The, yes, oh, you do. Yeah. So right, the blacks so on one. Do the blacks. Three dice on one, two dice on the other. And who Let's do you want the, the two? The so three dice on the other. Yellow's on the crusader. Yeah. Crusader and two on okay. the... Uh, yeah, on the, on the yeah. death cult assassin. Looking for force. Come on, force. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. That's, that's not a, good. That's a six. That's not good. And we uh, got to parry that. Parry that. So re-roll. <laughs> oh. No. Whiff, whiff, and Retaliate Strike, that's three ones. Yeah, yeah, that is, that is three good. ones against him. So he gets three attacks, uh, plus his base as there well. So robot. six attacks uh, from uh, the Crusader coming back. Oh, yeah, that's oh those cannot be saved. Uh, the... They technically all hit because he gets an assist, he gets an assist a plus one. Yeah. So the... I'll do the three yellow are the power attacks and the black are the normal. So let's roll these, see if these wound. Okay, so that's one wound from the black, which is not the power. These guys need fives. Okay, so that's two. Two damage on, on him. So, okay, so now we need to make an injury roll on him, just like everybody else. So let's see what happens. Flesh wounded. So he's down to toughness four. So that's good. So he's toughness four, still in the game. Still in the game! He's going to attack back at you. Uh, so he has three attacks. So let's see. Needing threes. Technically two, so they all hit. No power, thankfully. Needing fives to wound. So there's one wound. So you get a save. Which is... Four plus. Four. There's tons of dice. Tons of dice. No! Injury roll. Seriously injured. And... Take it out of action. Uh, let's see what happens to him. Okay, it's the last injury roll. Let's see. Blacks and tens. 65. Oh, that's a critical injury, I'm pretty sure. That's a critical yeah. injury. That's a critical injury. Oh, so well, yeah. Yeah. yeah, we'll see what happens. Uh, so over here, she's going to move two inches this way. Just because at the end of the combat, she's no longer engaged. Go from there. So, that wind was strong. Mm -hmm. uh, so that is, there go. Friedrich's going to be next. You're going to stand him up. Yes, sir. All right, let me help you with that. He's and then uh, into this boy, that guy down there, yes, who's sir. trying to get into the back of the airship, a downed airship. Uh, he is in f no cover whatsoever, so you have your full ballistic tool, but short range. So yep. plus one. Plus one. Needing plus threes. threes. Take him out. Take him oh, out. Oh god. You hit him. You need oh. a ammo check. Thankfully, it's two plus. Yep. <laughs> oh, oh. So he's pinned. Roll the wound, sir. Roll, Roll to wound. Roll to wound. Need. I think fours. fours? He hasn't suffered. Has he suffered a flesh wound? I don't think that no, one. No, just so no. Okay. 
That's a wound. Well, let's see if he saves it. Five up. No, he doesn't. Injury die. Ah, oh, seriously injured. Woo! Man down. Pock shot. Yeah. Woo! This guy here is gonna aim and shoot into Auken item. Uh, needing force to hit. Sounds like a pattern. Yeah, right? Because he's right there and she's right there. So needing force to hit. Hits! Oh, and does a wound because this is a hot shot last gun. Strength at four versus toughness three, I'm assuming, right? Unless she's higher than that. I'm pretty sure she's just three. Yeah. Check. So it doesn't wound or does wound? It does wound. Okay. It, I need a three. Toughness four! Oh, so it doesn't wound! Toughness yeah. four. But you need to make an initiative test so you don't fall. Okay. That's initiative six, isn't it? Uh, five. Or four, sorry. <gasps> yeah, five. five. You got this. Oh, oh, so she does fall three inches. Gonna take a strength three hit. There's my good spot. Does suffer a strength three hit. And then make an armor save, sir. Save it. You do! Save. So you're just pinned down there. <laughs> Sturm is up next. What are you gonna do with him? He's gonna stand and shoot at his burning friend. <laughs> yes. Do it. Stand him up. Let's see. Is he in range? It's an eight inch template, right? So go ahead, go ahead, use that. That one's better looking. It's fun because it's fiery. Yeah, it burns. So he's pinned. Wait, he's already seriously injured. Uh, needing twos to wound. Twos to wound. You do wound. Cool. Roll an inj uh, ammo die too, please and thank you. You need an ammo check, making that ammo roll up there. Uh, yes, you are good, you save are save. good. Uh, does he save his check? He does not save, so roll an injury die. He is flesh wounded, which takes him out of action because he already has two. So Sturm gets an experience point for that. Yay. This guy here is going to take a move action, come over here behind his partner, and shoot into Friedrich. Uh, I'm going to see if he has any cover though at this point in time. All right, needing uh, fives to hit, uh, then because of short range, goes back down to force because you have partial cover. I miss! Ooh, do I hit my guy in front? I do! <laughs> do I <laughs> Do I uh, wound the guy? Uh, I do, because <laughs> it's strength four. Uh, does he save it? Minus one, so he needs sixes, so he does not save it. Who wants to, you want me to roll the injury die? Do you yeah, want to roll Yeah, 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 okay. Let's Just see if it is fate. Hey, no, no! <laughs> This guy is out, out, out as well. So after taking his own friend out of action, uh, and who was within four inches, he has to make a cool test to see if he breaks. He does not, I don't think. I'll double check, though. That's why that cheating bastard gets shot in the back for sleeping with my girl. <laughs> so, uh, he does not break with his cool test of seven. Fucking item is going to crawl two inches and hide. Sounds good. Sounds good. Just towards this inside of the building, I'm assuming? Yeah, it should be Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right makes here. sense. Makes sense. Next activation is going to be uh, Solera here. She is going to do her double move, which gives her sprint and allows her to move 21 inches across the board. So after her double move, she is ending up right there, like so, just inside of an inch of Friedrich. It would be amazing. If you can feel her cold back. breath on your neck, Friedrich. <laughs> okay, so we're just going to start here. This guy's going to move and shoot into Friedrichs with his LAS pistol. Uh, are you within short inch? Uh, yeah, you're within nine inches. So you're gonna be behind full cover, uh, plus then uh, short range, so minus one, so I need fives to hit you. If I can find the right dice, I have them in my pocket somewhere, there we go. Fives to hit, it's a two, so nothing. Not within an inch, sorry. Uh, this guy here is going to aim and shoot, you're behind full cover, so hitting on force, misses with an ammo check. Still has ammo. Next guy's gonna do the exact same thing into Friedrich. Hits. Wounds. Uh -oh. So, you get a minus one, you're safe. So he needs a five up to save here with a minus one because he has the armored underglove that the Venators have and then all the other stuff. No. So he takes an injury die. See what happens to him. Flesh wounded, That's but he is case pinned. That's best pinned. case scenario. Lastly, this guy here is just gonna do a double move off the board. Something like that. Okay, going into the end of the round, uh, recover. Er, uh, we need to see if these guys come in. Uh, so both of them do come in. So for the first plasma gun guy, you guys get to place him any way you want. Second plasma gun guy, I get to place. So where do you want to place your guy? Um, back there. I, I, I say back here. Yeah. Yeah, there's no doors back or anything there. like that, definitely. So right there, like so. Uh, and then this guy is going to come along over here on this side. Right there, like so. Bottle test now. Let's see if you guys bottle. 
Oh my gosh, I don't think you do. We don't. I don't think that's you do. Girl. You guys don't bottle this turn. Uh, so that's good. So that means you're going to stick around. Are you? Yeah. yeah. We're going into round six now, gentlemen. Priority roll. Who wants to roll against me? Two. Five. You guys got it. All right, so Friedrich stood up for his first action. Second action is going to shoot into Solera, the death cult assassin. Uh, you need threes to hit, sir. Threes to hit. You hit. Hey. Cool test. Let's see if she fails. Uh, I don't think she does. Does not fail her cool test, so now let's see if you wound her. No. You do not. Well, that's something. Oh, well. She's going to turn around and charge you. <laughs> right in to your gun. You think she has enough movement? I think she has enough <laughs> movement, yes. She was an inch away. Uh, well, D3. So here's the D3. Oh, uh, so she has lots of attacks. Alright, here we go. Uh, let's see if she hits you. No power. No power. So that's good. And these miss, actually. So three hits hit you. Now, she's strength four, so she needs twos to wound. Okay, so they all wound, but you have a two-up save because of your power, or you're, you're being combat with her. Should we do one at a time, or should we do... It's up to you. We, whatever you want. It doesn't matter. Let's do it one at a time just to create one suspense. Okay. Okay, so, with this die. So First save. Four ups? Three up. Three up. Uh, two ups, sorry. Two, two up. up. Okay. Yeah. This is the shield. It's a shield. Yay. It's a save. Okay. Second one. die. Second die. Save. Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Third rolled, one. I'm rocking Third one. Hey! Oh! Okay, so now he has his club and his shield. He can attack back. That's right. Two attacks. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> one for each. I don't know what his weapon skill is. Is it like it's a, three? Or I think it's a three. Three put, or four? I just put both threes. So. Both my guys are out. So okay. Yeah, both are three. Or four. Or, uh, four. 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 Ups. Four. Ups. four okay. Yep, needing force. Okay, so uh, yellow is a shield. Yep. Black is a club. Okay, oh. so she's going to parry that one. <laughs> oh, Wiffle Bat. You yeah. still in? <laughs> Step aside. She makes it, so it does not oh. do anything. Sturm do is up next. Up next. He's going to do dumb move. What are you going to do? Sturm is going to do durable move. Yes. Go ahead. Go ahead. He does not like what is going on. Yep. So he's gonna hide. So he's like tucking in here mm. and cowering. You know you can go prone. So you can do a move One action move and, drop. and then no 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 it's like a it's like a a I think it's like D three and then you fall prone at the end. Oh, let's definitely do yeah, that. Yeah. So just roll a D six, see how far you go. And then it'd be like maybe a little bit back further. Yeah. So you're fine. So you do your full movement and boop, prone. Not face up. Sorry, not face down. You're not seriously injured. Still. This guy here is just going to do a double move up, just getting into closer range to where he needs to be with his plasma gun. That's his activation. Pure survival mode has stepped into place or came into place. What are you doing with Akinitem? Akinitem is going to crawl and hide under the wing of the plane. So just going back for two and a half inches or whatever her move. Two moves. inches. Two inches just back there. Not here. That's good because nobody's definitely going to be able to see her from where they are. That's funny. This guy here is going to make a 10 inch movement and just come up uh, behind yeah, everybody else. So now the noose is closing in on everyone. Too bad that uh, Ambot didn't do more <laughs> with that second attack. Right? Yeah. Idiot. <laughs> okay, Friedrich's the last, their next activation, last activation for you guys for this round. What are you going to do with him? Last full measure, he's going to attack. <laughs> okay, going to attack. That's a basic action, so you have two attacks. Uh, one shield, one uh, wiffle bat, as you guys you call them all. Uh, Alright, so, shield, yellow. Is yellow? Yeah. Wiffle bat. Yeah, the club, or mall, sorry. Let's see what happens. Mall slash club. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You got this. Oh, parry that, so re-roll that one, see if you... Yeah, no. Oh. Okay. <laughs> she's gonna pain. She's gonna attack his back. I need a D6. Oh, yeah, sorry. Thank you. Just one. Uh, uh there's that's gonna go through. Yay, power. Um and those two, I have to roll the wounds. Uh well actually the the yellow will be the power one to wound. Roll the one! Oh, she doesn't wound you, I don't think. I don't think she wounds you. What's your toughness right now? Oh toughness is three minus one. 
toughness two because he took a flesh, took wound. A flesh wound. Did he take a flesh wound? So I think oh, that's a hit. That is a wound. That is a wound, unfortunately. So that's two wounds. You can make a save versus that one, though. So right, two, two up. up. Yay! Yay! Oh my god! I, I didn't see the flesh wound marker there. That's why I was so like, that's, yeah. yeah, we didn't put one on him. Um, mm. So that's two. Two damage. damage so. Two damage. Yeah. I was hoping that he would have survived. I would have laughed, dude. Five Two flash <laughs> wounds! What's his he's, toughness? He's toughness three. Wait, oh. is he? Hold on. Toughness three or four? Hold on. I think three. Yeah, he's done. Oh, okay, he's, he's done. Alright. And then she's just gonna move up two inches. Oh, well. Like so. It's just a scratch. That's it. Just yeah, a scratch. No Black is tense for lasting injury. 45. I think that's just a grievous injury and he sits there. In recovery. In recovery. Okay, so instead of showing what everything was, everybody, all the other moves of the ginormous amount of people uh, after Friedrichs was killed, uh, I just moved them all up so they're all starting to circle around. None of them have line of sight or were able to get line of sight on Aquanitum because she's hiding underneath the wing and obscured and prone, uh, so she's alive. And nobody is close enough all the way down there to the prone sturm. Um, so we are now at the end of round six, going to round seven, which means these guys will automatically win the scenario. But do they run away? <laughs> oh, man! Okay, so you guys did not bottle with that roll of a one. So, priority next turn for round seven. You guys have priority. Um, oh, I forgot to move this guy up. He would have just came up. I forgot him. So, you guys are automatically winning, because you have two guys that are not seriously injured and prone or uh -huh. taken out of action. Uh, yeah. Or broken, sorry. So you automatically are going to win, but the game doesn't end until one team gang doesn't have anybody on the board. So you kind of want one of these two guys to die and the other one to run away, or just hopefully to run away. But you yeah. can't choose to flee if you don't fail a bottle test. Well, Akinaidem is going to stand and shoot. She's going to stand and shoot. Okay, so stand up and shoot away. Come on, Akinaidem, do something. This, with the uh, this is like the sacrificial moments, you know what I mean? I'm just going to take a shot at that death cult assassin. You don't want to try to get the experience and take somebody else out that's flesh wounded and in the open as well? Uh, no. Why not? Because she's trying to be brave and heroic. Yeah, but then you get the experience if you kill him. But she's not metagaming. Okay. <laughs> Shoot the death cult assassin. This I'll take that. This is a story, Adam. Not in, a the open, in the open. So, uh, needing oh, twos because in the open. You hit! Yay! Cool test for said death cult assassin. Makes it. Let's see if you wound her. You do! Save on a five. No, that is a wound on the death cult assassin as well. Death cult assassin's not too happy with you after hearing <laughs> that. And is just going to charge in on you. Uh, I'll roll her one injury die here and see. Yeah, she's in with a total of nine inches. So. <laughs> Six attacks on the charge for Solera, the Death Cult Assassin. No sixes and misses with three of them. Okay. Uh, you are toughness three? Toughness four. Toughness four. Oh, so needing fours. That's two wounds, sir. Need two saves. Okay. I think they're minus one because of power swords. Yeah, no sixes. Oh, one save, one. oh, oh, come on. You just want a flesh wound here! Yes! It is a flesh wound! Oh, you guys have a shot back! Let's see what happens! I have an auto pistol, so I get paired weapons. Yeah, so one of each. So the yellow is going to be the toxin blade. Okay. Um, that needs a three, and I need a four on the auto pistol. Yep. Where is it? There we go. Let's see. So auto pistol. Yep. Hits for twice! <laughs> and toxin. No. Oh, misses. Okay, gonna parry the. Uh, Can you uh, parry it? Because it's a sidearm. So. It's a sidearm. I don't think so, actually. So you do hit twice. So roll a wound then. Rolled a wound, and you can't step aside either because it's only melee attacks. So that's another wound. Five up save. Does not save it. That's two wounds on her now. You're doing more than what the ambot did, sir. Suck it, assassin. This guy over here is going to charge into Arcanitum. Uh, let's see if he has the movement for it. He does have the movement with a total of eight inches. Uh, so we'll get from there. Okay, so the guy that charged over here, he's fallen over a little bit, but uh, he's charging in. Hits on threes now with both of these because he gets assistance from the Death Cult Assassin. Yellow will be the last pistol and the black will be the fist to cuffs. Both Ooh. miss! Woo. Oh my goodness, you get to strike back, but you have minus one due to interference. Okay. Yeah. I'll get the, uh, I'll get the um, 
Get so the black is going to be the auto pistol. Yeah. So I need fours on that and threes on the yellow. Is that with your minus one? Oh, no, actually that would be five, but it doesn't yeah. matter anymore. They both miss. All right, so that's that. Um, I don't think I can get anybody else into you underneath there. So they're just going to move and reposition. Can't forget Serum, actually. That will be your next activation. He's going to stand and try and sneak around to help Akanaya. He feels bad. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. I'm surprised. All right. We'll see what you do with him then. And then his movement right there, like so. I'll just move everybody else. I'm not going to be able to get... Uh, anybody in the line of sight to shoot him. I might try a couple of pot shots over here with the hot shot las guns into combat though. This guy here is going to take an aim shot into Aachen item. Uh, you do have cover, so it's minus two. Uh, Plus two. Because one from being combat, one from cover, and then uh, aiming and, and that. So hitting on fours. Let's see if I hit. I do not hit. Do I hit the assassin? I do not. Do I hit the other guy in combat? Do. I do! <laughs> he does have a flesh wound already, too, so this wound's on twos. No! <laughs> this guy here is going to do the exact same thing. Aim and shoot. Hitting on fours again. Misses. <laughs> do I hit the assassin? No. Is it one to three? Yeah, it's, it's one, to, one three. to three. Hit the assassin. So hit the assassin. Uh, wounding on strength four, toughness three, so threes. It's a wound. The assassin gets a five up save no matter what. Takes another wound. The assassin has one wound left. Now everybody else is going to start moving around and flanking because I can't get anybody else in. So everybody is starting to move around here. We've got a couple of guys going up this way towards Sturm. And then everybody else is flanking around with the Crusader up front going towards the back of the air... I was going to say airplane, but it's air vehicle. <laughs> and hopefully towards the creature or person inside. End of the round. Nobody seriously injured. Bottle test. Yeah. See if you can make it. Whee! No, you do bottle. That's, we out. That's good. Yeah. Okay, so the start of the next round, which is round eight, you guys are gonna flee. So we gotta see if Aachen Item survives that combat. Aachen Item down here, after these guys bottling, they're choosing to flee at the beginning of round number eight. Needs to make an initiative test or be se come seriously injured. So five up initiative test. Uh, oh. She is seriously injured. So lasting injury, black will be a uh, tense column. Again. 44. I think that's just grievous. So she misses recovery. next round. So goes into recovery. So first off, I gotta. These are the sort the gang members that were used, obviously, for the scenario. I gotta see if the uh, Gilder Watchman slash slash Inquisition captures any of your guys. So uh, you had four guys go out of action. Mm -hmm. So two d six plus four. 13 or higher. They do not. So you nice. none of your guys are captured. Um, let's see. Post battle sequence. Uh, yes, that is it. So by recruit. No, this is all pre. I'm looking at the wrong section. Man. Okay. So uh, besides ruling for uh, the capturing, there's nothing else for the first step of the post battle sequence that we need to do at this point in time. So we go into the receive reward step. So these guys here made into round eight uh, of this scenario. Which means, on, if they survive seven or more rounds up against uh, their opponents, they get plus three reputation. Toward what, 12? <laughs> no, I think you're higher than that right now. And then you get 2d6 times 10 credits. Who wants to roll? Oh, when you have a win? Uh, oh, 100 credits, that's pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, on top of that, here we go. Uh, we have, uh, we have each fighter gains an experience, so all these guys will gain an experience point, all six of them, and then I need somebody to roll a D3 for Sturm and a D3 for Auk and Item, because they were the only two, oh, no, and, and Friedrich, too, actually, he was there at round seven, was he not? Mm, no, I round six, round before, six, yeah. round so six. So, just, just uh, Sturm and Auk. Yeah. Yeah, that was round eight, yeah. You want to do one? Okay. Uh, you want to do Akin Item? I'll do Sturm? Sure. Okay, so who's doing Sturm? I am. Okay, roll away. D3 experience. So he gets one additional experience, and Akin Item gets a D3 as well. One additional experience as well. So that's not bad. So these guys both get two experience, plus any wounds that they dealt and stuff like that. Uh, 
yeah, so that's that for that receive reward step. Uh, so after that, we have the uh, the post battle actions. So your leader can work the patron for an extra d6 times 10 credits if you want. Or you we can. Have, I think last time we checked, you had, had a like whole bunch of credits. credits yeah, plus yeah. 100. Yeah. So I'm thinking we go with a shop for. Absolutely. Little, yeah. Because he has the exotic okay. so we get an extra. So plus. he's going to go to the shop then. So roll 2d6 for him. Plus the reputation gives you plus one. Plus your leader gives you plus two. Plus two. Plus, plus exotic another furs. one from exotic furs. Plus so four. Plus four. Let's see what you get. Plus four to this roll. That's not what you want to roll. No, roll that d6. Don't want that one. All right, so you're only at a nine. rarity of nine for him. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. No arms for Darius. You can send. You can send because Sicarius is back out now. Same with mm -hmm. uh, Shad. Shad and is back Craig out. Craig only went into knockout. That's right. So the, all three of them can make if you want to send them to the trading post to see. It? Sure. Let's do it. Yeah. Here, you try it this time. Yeah. So you get. So you get plus one from reputation, plus one from being champion. So that's a ten. So ten's your highest right now. So who's gonna go next? Because you can only do one. You can only yeah, yeah. fulfill yeah. one of these roles. Yeah. The highest one. Yeah. All right, so next is, I guess, Shad. Sure, sure. Yeah. That's 11. 11 is your better. highest. You have one more roll left. Come on, Sicarius. <clears throat> no. No. So, so 11, 11 is your highest. So you can't get any of the arms. Um, but you could maybe buy an Ambot to come help you. Yeah. So Phantom Hat is the only guy that has leveled up. Uh, so we're gonna roll 2d6 because he is a basic ganger and see what happens to him. Let's use these awesome two and die hopefully, that have. Hopefully they come up as a oh. double, double six or double ones. That's what we're hoping for right now. 12 or a one. Oh, um, that's a 10. A 10. 10 will be improved leadership or cool by one. Not bad. Yeah. Cool's not bad. Cool. And they add 10 to their credit, credit rating. Right. Boo. From shopping around, you guys have decided to go with the the ambot down there. Yeah, we have. Mm -hmm. and they decide to buy an ambot because the other one they weren't gonna attempt to to save because nobody could figure out yeah, how to. Yeah, they want second hand. Yeah, no, they want brand new. Uh, so with the credits they had, they bought an ambot, and I think you're buying some gear for the guy that we haven't made a model or character for yet. Yeah, we'll have a new yeah. friend next. Time. Yeah, so next time they'll have a friend. Uh, Zezoth was the only one that has leveled up, so the gang consists of these guys, and then Auken Item and Free Drinks uh, will be in recovery next game. He's off having free drinks. Alright, well we will come back with the After Action Report next. Alright guys, here we are with the After Action Report, so just a little recap, you just saw that these guys survived. Eight, up to round eight up against the Inquisitorial Henchmen and the Gilder Watchmen. So, as you guys are starting to fade away and, and you know, fade into blackness with the people that were knocked out from the match and, and ducking your heads in cover, uh, gunshots started ricocheting all over the place, pinning the Inquisitorial henchmen as well as others uh, and, and started killing off some of the Gilded Watchmen. And like a large sum of, of people were shooting lots of gunfires, heavy weapons, grenade launchers, everything. From inside the airship walks out Ah, oh, I need the bottle. Go get him. <laughs> yes, Revnik, the adept to a gene stealer cultist. So uh, Sicarius recognizes, or Sicarius isn't there, but anybody that was in the last scenario <laughs> recognizes uh, the the iconic graphy uh, for the cult. So you can see the matching emblems from gangs that you have fought before. Uh, and seeing them come out with those adherents that love to turn around and rip people up. So, you get your first picture of what your, uh, what your patron looks like. He's sort of like a mixture of a human sort of with some sort of Xenos aspects. What's your thoughts on that? Well, hmm. I don't like to cast stones because we do have app humans in the squad, so... <laughs> yes. Um, <laughs> a little wary that the Inquisition is after the, uh, the person that yeah. has been footing our bill. Yeah. Yeah, and the fact that a previous gang has uh, came and uh, mm -hmm. and and is recovering this guy. Sicarius might might, might not be too happy. No, um, no. skinny jeans either because no, because he was he was blocked well. by the um, yeah. by the and, and he was here as well during this, and he sees this. He knows that 
the the patron was just rescued by the gang that has also fought you multiple times now actually multiple times and they are intruding and he slinks away to the shadows to the shadows of the underhive the patron is saved by well <laughs> other cult members and zealots you see them all wearing the same gang colors so hmm food for thought I wonder what happens. Feel so used. Feel so used. I think we should hunt down their tailor if they're all wearing the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Hunt down their tailor. I like that. Uh, who would their tailor be? Would it be Would it be Von Ripper, <laughs> the rogue <road> dog, <laughs> or would it be somebody else? Well, he did want us to save him right from the get go, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or escort. Yeah. Maybe, maybe there was a reason. There was a reason. But hey, uh, so that is that. These guys, uh, the Inquisition, you just saw your first taste of two of the inquisitorial henchmen in combat. <laughs> Thoughts on that? Yes? No? Arkham Adam's not too impressed. No! <laughs> <laughs> Shot the death cult assassin twice, uh, which is fantastic. So, um, But they're, they're, they're going to be around. Yeah. You now know that there's some pretty strong-willed people. Like, everybody has... When you hear Inquisition, it's like, oh, shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's a bad, bad day. Um, and usually they, they only hunt the vilest of the vile. So it might give you food for thought for choices of if you want to continue to support this guy or not. <laughs> or not. So that is that. We will be back again in another week or so for another battle report. So thank you guys for coming here. Awesome. Sean. Thank you. Ian, thank, thank you. you. I appreciate it. It was a lot of fun. Uh, guys, thank you for watching. Remember, check out the Patreon link below. Uh, that is allows us to continue doing what we're doing. Uh, uh, for the support on Patreon, you will make sure that we get you these battle reports early, as well as the side missions and other fluff story-wise and that, which we got to do another story sometime soon for them. Uh, so thank you for the Patreons that already support us. Greatly appreciate it. Uh, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, ignite your hobby. Creep for president. No. <laughs> he always gets knocked He's out. He's still running, okay? He gets knocked out. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Oh, man. Hawkeye was running against him. I like it. <laughs>